What is up, YouTube? Burns off here. We are flying to LA in two days. I'm super pumped. Um, I've been waiting for this uh, moment for a pretty long time now. Actually, ever since I first started playing uh, Call of Duty uh, as a competitive player, not even as a professional player. Um, a lot of you remember last year we choked a 2-1 to -one lead to Optic uh, at Call of Duty Regionals in Orlando. Um, so we were unable to attend after beating Curse Las Vegas. Uh, it was a pretty bad scenario, um, and it kind of hit me hard. Uh, it not necessarily made me want to quit, but it was definitely a setback for me because um, I know Call of Duty Champs is the biggest tournament of the year, and you have to show up um, when going to this event. And unfortunately, we didn't show up at regionals, so we didn't deserve to go. And uh, this year, we did qualify, and uh, we deserved to go. So things just work out uh, different ways. Uh, I don't know. I'm actually not like speechless. I'm not in like a zombie mode, but these past uh this past week or two I've been really just focusing on Call of Duty um and making sure I'm performing to the best of my ability to help my team win Call of Duty Champs. Uh I'm really confident in the squad. If we're all playing our A game, I feel we can upset a lot of teams. Um, I feel we can bring a strong presence to champs uh, for representing the United States. Uh, I just, you know, as long as we show up and do our thing, I think we're going to do really, really good. Um, besides the fact, our pool consists of FaZe Red, uh, FaBe Germany, and FaBe All-Stars. Uh, so I think our match versus FaZe Red is obviously going to be the biggest one, and then we need to just take out those two European teams and uh, do our normal business. So. Uh, sorry, I gotta just had Chipotle, so it's kind of stuck in my stomach still. Uh, I guess uh, another reason why I wanted to do this vlog, uh, it's kind of funny. It's nothing, I guess it is kind of personal, but uh, I tweet a lot of like motivational and inspirational things a lot sometimes, and I normally do that in my vlog. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that I've tried quitting gaming five times now. It's not like cigarettes to me, but uh, when I graduated college, I had a normal job, and I was definitely less stressful. Uh, I feel playing Call of Duty competitively is really stressful. You know, you have to put a lot of hours into it. You have to perform every game you play. Um, you have to play politics in this community. Uh, you have to be friends with everyone. You just have to do a lot of things to work your way up. Uh, and not only that, but you just have to be good at the game. And to be good at the game, you have to practice. So the hours we put in uh, is how we you know, sacrifice time, uh, stuff that we do in real life to be good at Call of Duty. Uh, and it's just odd because every time I did try to quit in the past, I won something or something went my way. Uh, it is like a miracle happen every single time and I can't explain it like even in this vlog It's just always something that's been stuck in my head. Uh, I tried quitting gaming in college I won the 25k uh, free-for-all tournament a week later um, I tried quitting gaming after I got my first Like normal job. I was selling websites. Uh, I was making pretty good money and uh, we placed fifth at Philly with Eagle Slayers and got picked up by Curse. And my goal was always to get picked up by a really, you know, good org. I'm actually still wearing the headset right now. <laughs> uh, but it was just odd. And then we moved to Atlanta, you know, for eight months. Um, it's just crazy. It's been a very long adventure. Uh, it's been very fun. Uh, but... This tournament right here, uh, I feel like I'm the most prepared for it that I've ever been. Uh, I feel like my gun skill has never held me back, but my mindset has. And in Black Ops 2, I feel like I deserve to be on a top 8 team. But I th like looking back at it now, I wasn't. Like I wasn't prepared enough. I wasn't. Uh, I didn't have the right confidence, that mindset that you needed to compete at a really high level. And now that I do, and a lot of you uh, amateur players out there will eventually get it, but you just build up this confidence where you 
it's not like you're challenging everything um because obviously you don't want to challenge everything in call of duty there's times to challenge and not when to challenge but it's when you're not second guessing any play that you're making in the game is when you are going to be at your best and that's the point where i'm at right now and it started at the beginning of this game i felt like i was really good at this game and I feel like I'm getting a lot better every single week. But the thing about me right now is that what held me back was I always second guess myself when I play. And now I just go with the flow and I feel like I'm really good at making plays in the game and helping my team out in any way possible, whether it's doing objective or slaying or controlling spawns, whatever. I just feel like I can do it all right now. Uh, so. I'm definitely going into this event thinking it's going to be my best, and I'm hoping it does because uh, this is where all the all the money comes up. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But I just want to say that I appreciate your guys' support. Um, moral of that story was don't quit or don't think about quitting. If you want something, just go get it like every other cheesy line that says that, but it's reality. Um, you'll have doubts in your head, but... Uh, as long as you stick with it and keep doing your thing, uh, things will eventually work out for you, even if it takes a year or two. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys are excited for this weekend. I am too. Um, we are screaming tonight. I'm not sure if I'll be streaming, but we'll see how things go. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.